Hey everybody, how's it going? I am working with some of my new staff members and I'm really trying to inculcate them into the company culture, which is that we have very high standards for border pair, high standards for the customer experience, high standards for data recovery, and high standards for how we treat people and conduct ourselves. But the moment a certain line is crossed, we're not like that UPS, Chase, Walmart customer service where you can just use them as a, and just beat the crap out of them like they're a pinata and get away with it. Once someone has passed a certain threshold, even the lowest level new person here is welcome to tell them to go fuck themselves without requiring management approval. And I don't, I've mentioned this a couple of times, and a lot of you think that I'm kidding, which is that, you know, it seems like there's this genuine disdain for British people because I have someone who is a tech in the UK who is, uh, has watched my videos for a long time. He's in my Discord. He knows his stuff. And I hired him to answer the phones. I outbid his current employer. Uh, by the way, if any of you are in the UK and you have a repair shop, uh, you, I highly suggest that you hire Cam. He's a very capable technician. He's worth way more than I think the 10 or an hour or whatever the crap that he's getting paid where he is. But until he, he finds a suitable job in the UK from an employer that's not like, screwing him, I would like to employ him to, to help me with customer service. And my God, the absolute vitriol, even when he gives people correct answers to their questions... Simply because of the accent, it j it boggles my fucking mind. It's like that whole taxation without representation shit was over 200 years ago. Let it go. But I thought I'd just play this because some people think that, that we're really exaggerating when we discuss this. But there are some really unhinged people out there. And I'm confident, I'm 100% confident that had Kevin knew what this person said prior to this call being transferred to him, he would have hung up on him and told him to go fuck himself. I have to call this person back and let them know that they're not welcome to send their device in for obvious reasons because Kevin didn't listen to the rest of this call until he had hung up the phone. But yeah, this this this, this kind of stuff does happen on a regular basis and it did happen before YouTube. There are lots of people out there that are unhinged that are out of their mind and they just want to use the person on the other side of the phone as a pinata and it's not okay and if you're whatever company that you work for or whatever company you manage you should not condone this and if you find a case of this occurring do what i did take the take them aside and say this is not okay you're allowed to tell this person off and hang up on them and tell them we refuse service to you if they treat you like this i don't like hearing people tell me that they're used to being treated like this and it's okay because their boss just wants the business or wants to avoid a one star. So I'm hoping that uh, that, that he understands at this point that stuff like this is not okay. And I thought I'd share it with all of you because, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe this is a good idea, maybe a bad idea. But welcome to Ross and Repair Group. Hello, Papa. Yes, hello. Hello, how can we help? Yeah, so I have an A1466, and it was working perfectly fine. It wasn't charging, and now it won't even turn on because I battery died. Uh, so what year is it? It's an A1466. Yeah, what year is it? Yeah, where do I find a year? I'm not sure where you find the year. Usually on the bottom well, of the device. If I don't find a year, then how am I going to give you the year? I'm giving you the modern number. you got to Google and you type it in there and you fucking find out where that modern number leads to. You know what I mean, yeah. mate? A1466 has 2012 version, 2013 to 2014, 2015 to 2017. No, and it doesn't matter. See, what you do is you go get me a tech who actually knows what I'm doing instead of coming to my country illegally and working. Okay? Can you go get me a tech who speaks English? Okay, sure. I do speak English. Okay, perfect. So, can you go get me somebody who actually is not going to question me what year it was made in? Okay, so a bad keyboard on that one is 225 plus tax. A bad trackpad is 150 plus tax. A bad trackpad so keyboard is, is 100 plus tax. So, what is the problem I'm not asking you how much it is. I need to know what the problem is. We don't know the problem it, without looking at the device. Okay, no problem. Why don't you go get me Rossman? I'd like to speak to him. Uh, you can't speak to Liz Rossman. He's unavailable at the moment. Okay, so then go get me a tech. Um, I am a tech. Uh, no, you're not a tech. Every time I ask you a question, you go and ask somebody else, and you come back. I'm not you. asking nobody else. I'm not asking nobody else. Okay, so you don't even know what the problem is. We don't know the problem without looking at the device. It can either be a bad uh, keyboard, it can be a bad trackpad, it can be a bad trackpad cable. The, back, the bad trackpad and the bad keyboard is going to make the battery not charge with the charger when you plug it in. Uh, if the battery... so you're a genius, man. You are the most genius person I've ever met in my life. You're you telling me that the reason why 
You just said the device doesn't power on. Yeah, if the device doesn't power on, it's not accepting a charge. You know, like when you stick the charger into yeah, that it, means, yeah, and that it's means like the not said accepting no a power. charge. Do you, yeah, do you understand correct. that? That means that there's something wrong with probably the board. Not does necessarily. The keyboard have, does the keyboard have anything to do with that? Yes, it does, and so does the trackpad, and so does the trackpad cable. That's why I told you it. If it's so a logic board issue, then it's 325 cable, plus tax. The trackpad cable is going to cause it not to accept charge. Yeah, that's correct. So the trackpad cable can keep the device from powering on. So it is not going to accept charge because there's a trackpad cable. So and there's lots of different things are, that can cause the are, device. And you are pretending to be a tech, and you're telling me that with all the knowledge and technical expertise you have in your whole life, you have never seen this issue before, and you have not seen a common issue, and you have no idea of what it could possibly be. Okay, what I'll do is correct? I'll transfer you to Kevin at the store. Okay, Give me perfect. two moments. So I'll place you on hold. Store. So you're not at the store. Hello? Hi there. This is Kevin from Ross Repair Group. How can I help? Hey, how are you? So I have a laptop. It's an A1466, mm -hmm. and it was working perfectly fine. It didn't stop charging, and it was still working fine. And then when the battery finally died, it did not charging. Mm -hmm. What could be the issue? Uh, for 1466, no charging. That could be either DC and board related issue or logic board related issue. Uh, we'd probably have to see it, see exactly what's going on with it. If it's something like, as simple as the DC and board, then we usually replace that for like 100, maybe 125. If it's a logic board related failure, however, like with the SMC or PP plus G3 hot, and that's typically around 250 to 325 for a board repair. Usually around 250, if I'm completely honest, because that's relatively straightforward. Uh, most MacBook, MacBook Airs are, but if it's something especially difficult, then in rare instances, we do charge up to 325 for a board repair. So do you think that it could be like do a PR reset or PRC reset of whatever color combination that you do with your with your, the keyboard or no? It sometimes is actually, yeah. You could try an SMC reset. It's uh, control, option, shift, and then hit the power button, and that should reset it while you have the charger plugged in. You'll see the light flashes from orange to green back to orange usually. Um, so just double check with that, and an SMC reset sometimes does help with that. Um, in some case, a good portion of the cases it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt to double check with that and see if it would work. Okay, so let me double check it, but it's not mine. Like, somebody gave it to me to, like, a girl to fix it for them, and I really hate fucking that. So <laughs> you and me both, man. The what? You and me both, man. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate this garbage, man, but, you know, it's like... They, they keep asking you for a favor, and then you're just, like, trying to please these fucking bitches, and then, like, you're stuck with this shit for, like, 10 years. And, um, so, I mean, I went and got her a new AC adapter, and that doesn't work. So, and then sending it to you guys, and it's going to take, like, three or four days before you get it, and then before I get it. And then the girl's, like, you know, going to think I took her laptop and sold it in a pawn shop or something. But, um, okay, so, but the majority of the time, you think it's a DC board, or do you think it's a logic board? Most of the time, it's the logic board itself. If the DCN yeah. board shows a light, then it's usually not the DCN board, but sometimes it could still be the DCN board. Is, um, is this laptop with built-on hard drive, or is it a separate hard drive where you can just change the board? You could remove the SSD it? from that specific model. Uh, those okay. only have SSDs, and they don't have HDDs. Okay, so you don't have to worry about losing data. Correct, yeah. We don't even touch your SSD. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because uh, I had this one airbook that... I guess it lost the logic board and you had to take it to the Apple store and they say you couldn't recover the data because it was um, it's on the board. Can you guys actually recover that data, the board logic board is bad? Uh, yeah, so for the 2018 and 2019 and 2020 MacBook Airs, the SSD is actually soldered into the logic board. We can attempt data recovery depending on exactly what's going on with it. So you guys can actually take it off and put it onto another one? No, we usually try to work on the board itself to see what's going on, what's right. causing the issue uh, on the launch board itself, and we try to get to a state where we just pull the information off, or if we can repair it, then that's best-case scenario. Okay, so no problem. So wait, let me write this down. So you said that's going to be um, $125 and the if maximum it's DC and how board, much? And maximum of around 250 to 325 for the board repair. 325 including shipping and tax, or is that extra? Uh, there's no tax as long as you're outside the U.S. Uh, outside the New York State, I should say. Sorry. Okay. Um, so just 325, including shipping. Uh, Max. Max is generally 325. Yeah, for a board repair. Uh, shipping would is included in all our prices as long as you live within okay, the U.S. Okay, no problem. 
how's the business over there? Are you guys like, because I heard New York City people aren't out. Like, is it busy or people? Pretty busy. In? A lot of people are starting to walk out again. So yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. Because I want to move to New York. Now I've had enough of these fucking cities that have three different types of people: white, black, and uh, Mexican. I want to go to like a place that has like 200 different colors. All right. There's definitely a lot um, of cultures here. I know, man. I grew up there, so I want to come back to the wonderfulness. Except the snow, man. That snow, dude. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much. Uh, I'll problem. check into it. Uh, but that other guy, the, the foreigner, man, that guy, like, you can't understand anything. How can you get somebody who picks up the phone and you can't understand them? Like, it sounds cool for about two seconds if you're a girl. But uh, <laughs> if it's like a guy, you're just like, dude, I'm trying to get something. I'm not trying to make out with you, you know? <laughs> All right. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it, man. Take care, man. Bye-bye. All right. Cool. Ciao. Had you had called us earlier about a MacBook problem? Yes. Yes, correct. Yeah, you, you, you can't send that here. I listen to the way that you talk to people. You, you oh, cannot really? send this. Yeah, that's I'm not guessing, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing you're Rosman. Uh, this is not how you talk to people, man. Don't call us again. Don't send anything here. Don't do business with us. Like, uh, that's listen, all I have to say. Listen, Just, no, listen, no, no, no. I heard your phone call. I heard the way good. you spoke to him. Are you an illegal? That's, that's no, you're that's not doing not that.